हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सौरभ पटवर्धन फ्रॉम नंदादीप आई हॉस्पिटल पीजी जी टीचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट एंड फेको एस आई सी एस ट्रेनिंग सेंटर सांगली महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन अवर सेंटर वी हैव लॉट ऑफ टीचिंग एक्टिविटीज विच इंक्लूड्स हैंड्स ऑन ट्रेनिंग एज वेल दिस अ इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियो फॉर दोज हु आर गोइंग फॉर एडवांस फेको सर्जरीज दिस वीडियो विल शो यू द टेक्निक ऑफ सी टी आर इंसर्शन विदाउट अ इंजेक्टर the wrong way and what is the right way to do it so this was a surgery done by my colleague and uh, the eye implantation has been done it was an eventful surgery and uh, as the surgeon tries to go under the eye well you can see that by mistake hydrinic dialysis has happened because the eye pro pulled the back there so instead of going under the eye well the bag was pulled so the surgeon decided to put a capsular tension ring here to stabilize the bag though the eye lap is uh, well centered in the bag i think for prevention that later when the capsular fibrosis occurs we don't want any decentration of the eye so, so this is the way the ctr is being injected now the first thing the surgeon has to watch out for is that the first eyelid should go into the bag here so we have to lift the ctr just a little bit so it goes underneath this capsule here which has been done properly now as the surgeon tries to push in the ctr you can see that the ctr is trying to get out of the bag and which is very natural these ctrs are very springy and uh, you have to push them down into the bag and guide them into the bag surgeon is using the sinski dialer in the left hand to guide the ctr but unfortunately the surgeon is not pushing it properly down into the bag and just lying there over the ctr but not actually nudging the ctr into the bag and that's a mistake as you can see the surgeon tries to push in the ctr further but as it is not going into the bag this certain amount of resistance because of the capsule and uh, this springy ctr now tries to come out of the bag so here the proper method should have been the ctr should have been pulled in by the sinski dialer and then pushed in now just watch the micro grasper holds the eyelet and now the surgeon is going to push this eyelet in the bag or rather try to push it in the bag here again the sinski is not pushing the ctr down and uh, ctr clearly is going into the sulcus now now the micro grasper is holding exactly at the eyelet so the sinski cannot hold the eyelet anymore and there the micro grasper loses the hold over the ctr and it vanishes into the angle of the eye now here the surgeon tries to retrieve it hold the eyelet but uh, then decides to call a senior surgeon so surgeon is trying to pull this out and almost the surgeon did but here the surgeon tries to attempt directly putting it in the bag which is not going to be possible so i am called in and uh, i am reviewing the situation so same instruments just a bit of more experience handling the situations like this so when you are pulling in the ctr which has gone into the angle you have to be very careful not to damage the root of the iris there so initially i am trying to pull it so that uh, i can hold the ctr with the micro grasper now i can see the eyelid there and now i try to hold the eyelet with the micro grasper and the moment i going to hold it first thing i am going to do is uh, pull the ctr out from the bag or rather from the bag completely so that uh, i will get chance to see insert it again into the bag and you can see that the almost uh, more than half of the ctr was not in the bag 
inflate the anterior chamber make it deep do not try to insert the CTR when the anterior chamber is shallow now watch how I insert it in the back so first little bit of vertical pulling of the CTR so the eyelet which is inside goes into the back and after that try to push in the CTR carefully now I would like to use a longer Sinsky or a dialer to make sure that the CTR is well directed now watch how the Sinsky here is being used so it is guiding the CTR into the back it will pull the CTR towards the center a bit so that the CTR is guided right into the back so that is the difference between the position of the dialer so the left upper one is the right position where the CTR is being guided into the back so it is not just pulling it centrally but also pushing it little bit down and as we come to the last part of the CTR watch I am holding the CTR not at the eyelet but just proximal to it using the forceps and then I am going to hold the eyelet with the Sinsky hook which is longer Sinsky hook and then gently guide the CTR into the back. Now at this point just watch how the CTR is being held by the forceps at a different position. Now holding it with the Sinsky at the end gives us a uh, kind of chance to rotate it inside the back if we wish to position it differently inside the back. For more such instructional videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channels.